Hi everyone. Hi guys. Today we're at Wonder Home and we are looking at the most amazing Westphalia Club Joker City. Can you tell he's been rehearsing that? <laughs> So this Westphalia Club Joker City, wow, what a van and what a colour. Honestly, this Fontana red Beautiful. on a day like this where it's just like blue sky and bright sun. This is absolutely stunning. But that's not the reason. We're not here to see Fontana red, are we? We're not, but we'll let you into a little secret anyway. We did actually see the transport film being removed off we this. We did. It's so it's new. Pretty incredible. So new. Yeah. And even the security tags from Westphalia that they put on the doors for transit and everything. We actually managed to open a door and break one of those seals on it. Ooh. Ooh, so that's a treat. Box that's fresh. That's like an iPhone and taking the, it the really cover off is. the screen, isn't it? So what is the Club Joker City then? It is, well, I thought you were going to oh, okay. yeah, well, say. Is, what is it? It is probably, I would say, definitely actually, the top of the range Westphalia van based on pop a pop-top van based on the Volkswagen T6.1. It is. Uh, it's... Probably, it's only competitor realistically in that market, I would say, and you can have a go at me in the comments below, it's probably the Volkswagen California Ocean. Yeah. But there are a fair few differences. Assuming you're on a Volkswagen. So, yeah. Assuming you're on a Volkswagen platform. Yeah. So if you are hell-bent on sticking with Volkswagen, uh, for whatever reason yeah. uh, you want to stick with Volkswagen, this is Westphalia's top-of-the-range version yeah. for you Maybe to you've a had a Cali at. before and you're looking for something else, maybe you are looking at a Cali and you're wondering, is that the only option because it's the thing that people talk about the most? Well, no, no, it's not. It's and not. It, this could it's be this. something even more special. Yeah. Controversial, but yeah. it's got a lot of different things to a Cali. So comparing them like for like is not really what this is about. This is about showing you what is inside and what the Club Joker City is all about. It has got quite a few differences, like I say. Mm. Obviously, the main similarity is the fact that it's based on a transporter. Yeah, um, but the layout... Layout, really different. So different and yeah. really quite incredible that you could take exactly the same van yeah. and do something quite so different with it, it. Exactly the same van in terms of five metres long as well. Yeah, um, so short wheelbase. It's not a long wheelbase, it's a short wheelbase van, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, but it is based on the transporter panel van. Rather with than, a side door. With a side door. <laughs> uh, rather than uh, a combi yeah, or nice. a caravel or anything yeah. like that. So, so, so yeah. yeah, and then they obviously completely fit it out, uh, build it to your spec, fit it out uh, completely on the inside, mm. obviously. Uh, and then you end up with one of these beauties. So we're going to do a walk round and then we're going to do a internal. Yeah. We'll try and point out the things which are different, innovative, special about this. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then we'll give a bit of a summary at the end and prices and all of that kind of jazz, yeah. won't we? Yeah. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's crack go. on and have a look around the outside. Okay, so this Volkswagen T6.1 is your typical transporter essentially. So it comes in the range of engine sizes. So I think it's the 150 and the 199. Uh, manuals, automatics. This one is a 150 DSG automatic, which tends to be, to be honest, the most popular of all of the ones. So you get the nice gearbox, slightly lower powered engine, but let's face it, it's a holiday vehicle. So where are you racing to exactly? So uh, you get the, the nice little transporter thing down on here, uh, your headlights, standard headlights. I think they can be upgraded if you want to upgrade them. Uh, you can also get your um, Cruise, automatic cruise control, you can get the lane assist, you can get the various different um, parking sensors, parking cameras and all those kind of bits. But in true Volkswagen style, they are optional extras. So they're not cheap, uh, but you can get them. So think carefully about what exactly it is that you want to go going forward. So as we move on back down, you see this one comes with the, the alloy wheels. The, these, this style of alloys was always the standard on the uh, California T6. Can't remember for the life of me what they're called Davenports. though. Davenports. Davenports, that's it. <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue and just not quite there, unfortunately. And you get this lovely Club Joker text down the side here. Now being Westphalia, they're always quite keen to tell you that it is a Westphalia and make, make sure that you know. So you do get it up here and you'll see it in various other places as well. <laughs> so through the sliding door 
is where you see oh. all of the bits on the inside. But I'm not going to reveal too much. You're going to have to keep watching for that. <laughs> and here is what we'll refer to as the seal that we broke. <gasps> Do not open. Do not open. You bad, but we bad lady, it. you. Sorry. And a bit more of the true Westphalia. So here, that is definitely your panel van. And that gives you a clue then as to the layout because there's no windows back here. This is your window, and this is a Dometic uh, window. It's double glazed, and it actually, it, it's, it's quite a good fitted unit. It opens outwards rather than being sliding, and you've got your integrated mesh screen in there as well, and it's an insulated blind, so it's got the silver backing the on it too. Roller blind, isn't it? Roller blind, comes, like, yeah. Integrated yeah. to it We'll completely. show you that in detail as well. So as we come further around the back, another one that we broke. Sorry about that. Well, not broke, but <laughs> well, bro just opened. Yeah, opened. It's beautiful. Back of it here, Sons number plates. That's so exactly new. how new it is. Another reminder that we have the Club Joker back here. And you can just start to see up here as well, the pop top. So it is the opposite way around. Oh, and another Westphalia California Westphalia Ocean. <laughs> and if you didn't know, it is a Westphalia. <laughs> so down the side here, it looks very, very similar again. Um, and on here, that's where your electric hookup is. Note, you don't fill your water up out here. That's actually inside, which again might give you a little bit of a clue to some of the layout on here. No sliding door on this side, so it is the normal European continental, um, continental style, style yeah. of layout. So if you are parking on the left hand side of the road in the UK, you are stepping out potentially into the traffic, same as in the California Ocean. Uh, some, pe some people just that's a no, others really not fussed about it whatsoever. So there we go. What make is it? It's Westphalia. <laughs> I tell you what, I really like it though, actually. It's got so many logos I, on I quite, it. I, I like it. I don't, I don't think it's offensive in any way, shape or form. I think it's quite nice. So that's the outside. Right. Should we go and have a look inside then? Yeah, join Will for the inside tour. Well, hello. Welcome to the lounge of the Club Joker City. So in here, we have got a nice two-seater bench. Uh, this is actually a butterfly bed, so it's not a rib bed or anything Ooh. like that. It's a butterfly bed, which I'll show you how that works a little bit later. Uh, it's got isofix points. Uh, that's the tag there, which you pull to turn it into its bed. Uh, adjustable headrests, all the seat belts and all that kind of stuff. So proper four person traveling in here. No problem with any of that. Uh, matching fabric, as you would expect on the seat here at the back on the bench and the driver and passenger seats. Uh, it, it's genuine Volkswagen quality. This is, you know, it doesn't feel aftermarket in any way. Uh, it's everything matches. It's as per you would expect it to be. So it feels absolutely spot on quality. There's no question at all. Looking at the interior here in terms of the, the way that they've trimmed it, you know, everything here is all custom molded to the right shape. Got nice kind of door bin down the bottom here next to this bench seat. Rail here where the table goes on. Uh, the table for this is stored in the back of the sliding door, much like the Volkswagen California. Oh, okay. Um, these windows, as Sarah was saying, double glazed, uh, uh, Dometic windows, which again, you can open these little tags here. And then... Nice and gently, over it, open goes. it up. And the advantage of these windows over and above the sliding ones that you usually get and from the kind of Volkswagen factory build is that if it's raining, you can leave this open and the rain runs off there because it acts like a canopy and it's hinged from the top, which means that you're not going to get rain pouring in here, but at least you can have some fresh air. Fly screens, as Sarah was saying, and then at the bottom, it's your uh, silver backed uh, blind, which you just squeeze those and push there. What you can do as well, these link, oh, these link together, so you can do kind of half, half and, and half, half, which is nice. always nice to, nice to have. Um, so yeah, it's nice to get a bit of breeze through, obviously nice lighting and things in here, lots of strip lights and things. Uh, and then obviously the, uh, the pop top, which we'll come to a bit later. So yeah, it's a really, um, this kind of front lounge area, Obviously, you've not got enough, you've not got the same space as you do uh, in a California, but that's because of what's back there. Ooh, shall we go look? Let's go and have a look. Right, we're at the business end now. So back here, then we have got the kitchen area. We've got kind of a fridge and dressing area, which I'll show you in a second. And we've got a toilet, 
we've got a wardrobe, we've got a huge shower tray on the floor here. So yeah, I'll come on to this, what all this is in a minute. Uh, we've got gas bottle storage, all that kind of stuff. So let's have a bit of a walkthrough, shall we? So kitchen area, uh, built in stainless splashback. Nice. Uh, which again, they're thinking about longevity here. They're not, they're not trying to sell you something which is going to wear out in three years time. So you change it and have a new one. Mm. They genuinely want you to have something which is going to last. And you can tell throughout all the fixtures and fittings in here, it's built to last. So two burner hob, uh, again, Dometic hob, obviously it's got ignition, uh, normal gas control, so quite straightforward. Uh, you've got a nice sink, uh, which although it's a kind of a normal dished, kind of dished mm. bowl rather than a square bowl, normal size plug hole, which is quite rare in a camper van, yeah. I have to say. So at least if you lose it, you don't have to go to a Volkswagen dealer to buy a new one. Uh, so that's good. Well, yeah, plug you? socket, um, really obviously great next to your tap, um, but don't, don't you know, <laughs> don't fry fire water into there. <laughs> uh, USB, obviously a upstand here so you can actually stand things in there if you want to. Um, the uh, the um, tap here uh, does have a normal shower head which goes in and it's a combination of a shower head uh, and also the obviously the um, tap for the sink in the same one and you although I can't I can't pull it out of here um, it's a uh, it's actually a um, let's see if I can get hold of it there we go yeah. it's on a shower hose um, so you can pull that all the way out. And then you can use it outside, you can use it inside. And then because it's, it's a mixer, uh, isn't it? yeah, because it's got hot water, mm. it's a mixer. So you've got hot and cold there, which is nice. always nice to do your washing up rather than in freezing cold water. Shape of this is nice. Yeah, so beautiful details. Really, really fantastic build quality on these. You've got gloss white finish. This timber door here with this lovely curve in it. When you open this, just rolls away. So you've got a you know, probably a pantry kind of idea going there. So you're able to store your food and your bread and, you know, all your supplies and things in there. This cupboard at the bottom here, it's a, it's a plastic door. Looks quite flimsy, but there's a reason for that. And that is because behind this plastic door, you probably can't see it there, um, is a few different electrical bits and pieces. Uh, you've got your, that's your hot water boiler underneath there. Um, so it just needs the ability to be able to vent a little bit, uh, hence why it's a plastic door and it's got uh. those vents in. So that's that. Uh, coming back here, um, in fact, I'll probably show you this when Sarah goes outside. That's probably the easiest thing to do for show these few bits and pieces here. Um, but this, I think, is absolutely genius. So we've got a fridge built in underneath. So that's a, just a, a small compressor fridge. Little um, ice box. Little it? ice box. Um, it's uh, obviously got a light in it and everything else. 12 volt only, so it doesn't work off gas. Uh, and then at the top here, you've got a drawer. It's very nice. Is Just... it soft close? Oh, yeah. Of course it is. Um, and then at the top, you've got a mirror. So you can probably see Sarah. No, you can Unless just you see mean, you. Just, well, just me. Just you. Uh, so you've got um, a mirror. You've got space in here to put a few toiletries and other things when you've got it shut, uh, makeup, etc. And this, I was, I was reading about this, this feature here wasn't there originally when they designed the van. And in Germany, one of the dealers had some feedback uh, from one of the customers who bought a uh, Westphalia and they said, why can't you just make something out of that top bit because it's a wasted space. And Westphalia did, and then it's in production. Wow. So actually, they, they really do take on board it's feedback from people when they buy vans and you, you kind of become part of a club, it feels. It's, Westphalia is definitely a, one of those companies which feels like it's small enough to still have that conversation with. So there you go. Um, from customer feedback, you now get built-in mirror. Yeah. Nice. And it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so at the back here, you've got control panel again. I'll show that. Uh, from the outside it's probably a bit easier. Uh, in this bag behind me is your outside table and chairs uh, and uh, obviously I'm standing in the uh, reverse pop top if you like so it's hinged from the front of the van rather than the back which means that when you stand at the back here at the kitchen 
I'm actually standing at a kitchen worktop, which is the right yeah. height. Because in the Cali, in the Cali, it's you, you can stand up right, but the kitchen worktop's it's, really quite it's low. Like isn't it's it? for a small child. Um, you're all right in it, aren't oh, you? Oh, thanks. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, for me, it always feels like you're way down here. Yeah. So this is a proper feels like you're in a proper kitchen. Admittedly, you're doing the washing up kind of underneath a a bit of a um, well, bulkhead there, always, but isn't there? you know, actually preparing food and things. You know, you've got right. this space here you could use as well if you mm. need to. It's a really good space. Uh, another cupboard down at the bottom here. Again, nothing in there, just a huge cupboard for storage. So mm. they've really tried to Shoes, pack. Shoes, coats, whatever. They've there? really tried to pack as much yeah. as they can in uh, everywhere in the van. So, uh, is, yeah. is that a toilet that I spy? It certainly to your is. Left. Shall we go around the back? And that's yeah. probably easier. I can show you the rest of these cupboards. There. Yeah, let's do. Right, so round the back. So we have got a myriad of cupboards. It's absolutely so this is under loads of them. The hob and yeah, so sink. Yeah, the hob and sink it? on so the we're top. With air. Yep. Uh, we've got a little pop down one. Uh, obviously, half of that's taken with your sink bowl, but at least you can get to the different things to access them if you yep. need to. Um, so you've got that there. Then you've got another drawer, little box drawer. Yeah. It's all very nice and soft okay. close. Then you've got your gas locker just there. Yeah. Um, so that's where your gas bottle goes in and your mm -hmm. valve and safety and everything else in there. So that's the little gas bottles, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got a seal on it and everything to obviously keep it safe. Then this one, uh, again, a couple of shelves in there. And again, this one's sealed, but that's only because this has got a kind of false back in it. So you can potentially have gas yeah. go between the two. So that's why that one comes out in the same way. So that's lovely too. So that just slides in. And you've got a huge, oh, that's enormous. huge, huge, huge drawer. Oh, let's stand up out of the way. Look at the size that of that enormous. drawer. It's just enormous. So it's really practical to get all your stuff in. And again, another one, another one. That's your at the top there. Drawer. Cutlery drawer. And that's your strap for your, uh, for your gas locker. So huge amount of space and storage in here. As I was saying earlier, this uh, control panel here, anyone who's uh, ever looked at a Marco Polo or uh, quite a few of the other Westphalia vans, this is a Westphalia control panel. So on here you get your see, timer, that's your water, so it tells you whether you've got any waste or um, uh, fresh. fresh water. <laughs> um, you also can control your heating from here, uh, so this is where you turn your heating on and off. Uh, you've obviously got your internal temperature. It's where you also turn your um, uh, hot water on and off. Um, okay. So you can set it in there. Um, and then you've got your fridge. Uh, so you turn your fridge on and off from this controller too. Uh, it tells you what kind of temperature it is outside. Obviously you set it in here with the heating. Um, what type of heating is it? So diesel, I think it's an Eberspatch heater on this. Uh, so diesel heating for both the hot water and for um, the night heater. Okay. Um, and that's, that's a blown, blown air heater. Blown air it? heater. So no yeah. radiators in this. Um, if you're looking at the Club Joker, um, so not the city, that's the one with the bigger high roof, uh, that's got radiators in. Um, mm. So it's a wet system, uh, a bit like the Sven Heenan and Columbus. Uh, so uh, it's blown air on this one, but that's more about the size of the van than anything. Mm. Same control panel. Uh, in here, got a, a really nice big space. Oh, no, uh, it's got a little hanging rail up there yeah. as well. Little hanging rail yeah. goes all the way down right to the very bottom, and this is all nice and furry lined. So if you're oh, putting nice. clothes and all that kind of stuff, really spongy. Look at that. Yeah. Or your, your hangers, they're not going to yeah, clank against right. the edge. When did of the you van, ever? When did you ever see anything that <laughs> spongy in a Volkswagen mm. California? Um, so you've got your isolators there as yeah. well. Uh, again, beautiful fitting design. Integrated toilet, Thetford toilet, as you would imagine. The uh, throne. The throne, electric <laughs> flush, uh, and then the cupboard on the end opens up to be one. able to grab your cassette out. That's in there. Uh, Dead so easy your, to get at. That's your toilet cassette. Um, underneath here, um, so you can see where I'm standing, underneath here it's is your shower, shower tray, actually, which, isn't it? There's two, if two I do boards, that, isn't there? There is. One. Um, so you can take the boards out. You've obviously got your shower tray there, a couple of drain holes. Uh, there is a shower curtain which goes in here, um, so you obviously this isn't a wet room <laughs> in terms of getting no. all this wet. There's a shower curtain that you can stand inside and shower in and, um, well... Uh, or put your damp dog 
Or well, yeah, I think... To dry her off. I think in an emergency it's possible, isn't it? It's nice to have mm. the option to be able to shower in your van if you really need to. Would you do it every night on a two-week trip around the NC500? Probably not. Probably not, but you could if you needed to. Or wanted. Um, but the fact that it's got a toilet, really, really handy. Mm. Uh, so uh, I think the other thing that we just need to point out whilst we're back here as well, because this looks a little bit strange in here, this is a cushion uh, that's on this bit. And that's actually a board, you can probably just see up at the top there, there's a board being held in place uh, with a little black piece yes. of plastic. so if I do and that... And this, it's a board so this, that folds down. This slides off. Covers up... It's just got a couple of uh, yeah, things so that, on it. Yeah, uh, so that covers up the toilet and then you pop that cushion on top. And, and it's hey like... presto, you've got a seat if you're wanting to do your cooking, which I, you could do. I mean, I'm if, sure you, that's if not. you're... If you're you know, waiting for your pasta to boil or something, I'm and you sure really that's not what it's designed stand. for. <laughs> but what I think it's actually designed for is to assist in getting upstairs you into got it. the bed. You got so, it. So rather than standing on the toilet and potentially breaking <laughs> the plastic lid on your bed. And no ladder. So there's no ladder no flying ladder. around in here or anything like that. So you've got a seat, toilet and step to get yeah. up to the top. Quite nifty. So really, really nifty. Mm. Um, really good design and it's just innovative just something a bit different which you think actually you know what in day-to-day -day camper van use this is quite nice yeah having this having a kitchen at the right height is quite nice yes um admittedly you're not going to use this kitchen too well if the roof's down uh that is maybe a consideration. that's more for what the seat's for then um so <laughs> <laughs> I do, um let's have a think I'd probably be all right, wouldn't yeah, I? You maybe. might feel a little cramped. Yeah, I think it could be a little cramped. But in the Cali, it's you know, still, the it's kitchen still isn't particularly easy to use if the roof's it, down either. So. It, is, it is still cramped in the yeah. Cali. Uh, in terms of the bed, um, the uh, the bed's obviously on gas struts. Uh, it goes up and comes down. You can probably so it pulls see it, and down, it, it kind it? of cantilevers up. Yeah. So it's got more struts in yeah, here so than just a, a normal head hinge. Height at the so you get front more head height. Man. It's got the all important logo here look Rolly. Rolly with its little individual springs so underneath this mattress a bit difficult to show you on this one because the uh, safety nets in place oh, yes. there's individual plastic springs which are that size which sit there make it so much more comfortable and it makes it they? so much more comfortable yeah. um, so a, a good size we'll put the size of the beds and everything yeah. uh, on the screen but um, a really good size uh, bed up the top here. It's not making particularly good <laughs> cinematography. <laughs> um, yeah, really good size bed at the top here. And uh, if I just kick my shoes off, because I don't want to stand on that cushion with my shoes on, you can see that I've got my arm on this back ledge here. Uh huh. Arm on here. Step, step. <laughs> and then. Onto the bed. There you're on. <laughs> He's up. I'm up. Um, I mean, I think some people do stand on the kitchen. I'm yeah. a bit wary of that because it's got this edge strip on, and yeah, I wouldn't want to. You don't to, want to break anything. Wouldn't want to damage do that. Do it carefully, though, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. And then, obviously, coming down, I can put my hand just on this back panel here. Put my foot there. Back down. And then you. And then you can sit on there and put your shoes back on. There we go. It's your shoe fitting bench. <laughs> <laughs> the right. other thing that we could suggest say as well, whilst we're around the back here, if you remember back to my outdoor tour. Uh, there was nowhere to fill the water up, and that is because it's it there. is here. Uh, so your fresh water tank is hidden in that unit, uh, basically. At least so that means no one's going to sneak up on you in the middle of the night and fill your water tank with something nasty. Or steal your water. Not that I've ever heard any stories no, of that happening. No, I've never heard any about it. You've probably just I, given some probably nasty just... person an idea now. What don't do that. Don't yeah, do don't that. Don't ever do that. Yeah. Right, should we have a look but at this? But also, probably more importantly, actually, there is no way you're going to put diesel in it by mistake. Not unless you're really trying. Because <laughs> we have heard, you know, where you go to attended we petrol have, stations, yes. particularly on the continent, we've heard of people having we have. uh, their water lovingly filled up with yeah. fuel, uh, which the attendant. is really, really yeah. dreadful. Not so going to happen on it's this. not going to happen in this, which is a bonus. It is. Right, should we have a look at this butterfly bed then? Yeah, let's go for it. Right. So if it's awful outside, you don't want to put the pop top up, but you need to go to bed, or where are you going to go? Or you've or got, you got kids, kids. <laughs> or there's four adults. Whatever you do in your van is up to you. Yeah. So you you. what you do is you grab hold of this, you pull it, and you have to hold the back 
and the whole seat starts to come forward. And then as you push this, you can see I'm holding this back piece just in the right place because you have to butterfly it open. And the whole thing. That thing that, that goes comes down, down there. like that. That goes down there. Ta da! And you've got a bed. A bed. How cool is it's very that? Very speedy. How cool it's is quite that? Speedy. Yeah. I, it's almost speedier than the Cali bed. Yeah. Because there's none of this kind of. Well, there's no moving a bench seat forward. Forward and, and back business. But obviously, you do have to have your your two front seats turned around and pushed as far back as they can possibly go. But you know what? That that's nothing wrong with that. I mean, okay, you'd be quite friendly with the person next to you. It's a, it's a fairly dinky bed, isn't it? It is. We need to find out the measurements of that, and we'll pop that below. I think it's it's probably fair to say that's possibly a little narrower than the Cali bed. Well, it's a bit, little bit tapered. Yes. Yeah, a little bit tapered. Um, you know, if you're trying to sleep in here with a mate, then you just have to go top to tail, make sure they wash their feet first. <laughs> could could work. <laughs> um, but you've got to remember, you're not taking up your kitchen. Yes. That's the key. So You can still go you, and make a cup of tea when you get up and not the, faff about putting your bed away. The amount of times, if you think about it, the amount of times that in the Cali, we slept downstairs and you want to make a cup of tea, you, you just can't because you no. can't get to your cupboards, you can't can't really do anything you can just about sit on one of the front seats which obviously you can't do here maybe that's why they've given it cushion well, you can sit on one of the front seats this passenger seat you can or oh, sorry the driver's seat but that might be one there's a cushion for the throne as well uh, yeah. because if you've got somebody sleeping in here and you get up early like i do so it's a shoe putting on tea drinking tea making bench S slash surfing the web while your wife's asleep and you, <laughs> all you're doing is just whiling away time until she gets up yeah that kind of thing um Perfect. He's a bit bitter, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so that's perfect. Um, so really, there's a lot to love in this van in terms of design. It's just it's just yeah. a completely sideways take on how you would lay out a transporter, and I th I think that's brilliant. I, mm. I really like the fact that there's different options on the market right now. You can buy today, which are an alternative to a traditional bench seat. Slide it forward, lie it down. Do side you kitchen. Like. You know, there's a there song are, in that. There are, <laughs> there, are, there are other options yeah. out there. Right, shall we uh, take a breath and then do a bit of a summary then? Yeah, let's go for it. One thing which I forgot to mention was the fact that Ooh. It's got a fly screen for the sliding door. So this isn't one of the Brundrup kind of zipping Velcro jobbies or anything like that. Magnetic Proper or anything. actual sliding built-in fly screen. It is, isn't it? Really. It's got a nice little rail. It's good, decent quality. It's That's an aluminium rail, which it's uh, got there properly and it's, they've, sliding they've on the floor. built up this step here. They've done a so really nice job. This is the kind of base step of the van. And then you get this nice aluminium strip on top of it. And that's where your fly screen yeah, it's, in that uh, rail. it's very nicely done and uh, a really nice addition to have in the van. Right, so what do we think then? Club, <laughs> Club Joker City? Yeah, surprisingly, actually, I really do like it. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's a lovely van and I really like the fact that it's just a little bit more, well, it gives, it gives that choice it of a different layout. And don't get me wrong, we've had two oceans. I loved them to pieces, really, really loved them. But they did have their faults. And I'm sure this does have some faults and there'll be things that you don't like about yeah. it um, as much as there'll be bits that you actually prefer about it. So that's where that compromise comes in. But I think it's nice, actually, uh, that having that kitchen at the back, like Will was saying, of even if you're sleeping upstairs, um, you, know, you can get down, you can, yeah. you can stand up at it, you know, at the back if the roof's up, all of that kind of bits. It's nice. I... I... I like the fact that it's got a built-in toilet. I like the fact that it's still only a five-metre van. Mm. Um, I think the... Do I prefer the Cali Ocean downstairs bed to this butterfly bed? I don't know. They've got pros and cons. The butterfly bed is so fast to put it's up really and down. It's really fast. There's no faffing about with moving really, bench seats forwards and back. It's really, and like really that. quick. Um, whereas with the Ocean, you're moving stuff around and you've got well, to... And you've got to make sure you've got nothing on the parcel I, shelf. I, and at it's the back. kind of complicated underneath, you know, all those yeah. levers and things going into the floor and the rails Pulleys and, and all oh, sorts, oh. yeah. <laughs> um, and you do hear occasional stories of people with the seat jammed and it's twisted or something, whereas there's none of that with literally a hinge, hinge, done. done. Um, yeah. Nice and quick and easy. So I quite like that. 
but I do think it feels the design feels like it's probably more reliant on you having the roof up yeah um, so whenever you've got the chance and it's not blowing a hoolie and chucking down with rain get the roof up and then you'll really yeah. get the most it comes out of into that its van. Own then, doesn't it really it? does yeah. but I really I'm not I mean obviously I don't usually wear makeup but um, <laughs> that uh, that kind of makeup table like the dresser well it's just for having a shave for you and, isn't uh, it as well that's a yeah. good point yes I would need to do that yeah um, you know having a shave doing your makeup whatever and the drawers all in it you know it's nice. just mm. 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 <laughs> it's it's just it's really well designed really yes. really well designed Lovely. do love it uh, in terms of price this one that we're looking at here, I think, is 81,000, 81 and a half, that. something yep. like that. Um, They're not cheap, uh, yeah, basically. Not cheap. But you get what you pay for. If you want the Volkswagen thing, yeah. you've got to remember, an awful lot of that price is the base van. Yeah, um, which so, have rocketed you know, over the last few years. And the, the extras that you add on a Volkswagen van, which some other vans might have as standard, do push the price up. So don't blame Westphalia for being expensive. Just look at the cost of the base van. <laughs> you blame know, Volkswagen. Yeah, blame Volkswagen <laughs> if you're going to blame anybody. But you only need to look at the list price of the Californias to know that actually that's probably in the right kind of ballpark for this quality of van. Yeah. Um, I, the innovation is great. And you've got the Westphalia Heritage, obviously got the base for, uh, Volkswagen van in there as well. Uh, it's a lovely, wrong, really. it's a lovely package. I don't think you can go wrong it's with it. It's a lovely package. Yeah. The only, the only thing that I think we thought when we were looking around it was the Club Joker. Um, so not the city, the Club Joker, and that's got a fixed fiberglass roof in and it a high top and a it, high top it? roof. So if you yeah. think about the Crally Grand Six Hundred, but on a transporter, ish right. with a slightly ish. nicer looking roof. Um, <laughs> That's basically what the Club Joker is. And this is obviously the city version, so you can get it into more car parks and all that yeah. kind of stuff. The interior of this is very similar to that Club Joker. But obviously with this, they've taken the roof off yeah, you don't have the pop to make top it into bed. a pop top. Yeah. So with the fixed roof one, you're never thinking, do I need to put the roof up? Do I need to put it down? You know, is it raining? Is it too windy or yeah. anything like that? They do cost a bit more again. <laughs> how but, can it cost even more, Will? <laughs> but... We were talking about how many times you actually go into a car park where it's low or, you know... Well, how many you times we do. do. Yes, I mean, we, for, we. For, you know, others may be different. And I think in them. our personal situation, we, we might look at the Joker rather than the Joker City only because we don't tend to go to places which have got a height restriction. Yeah. But that said, you're still talking Westphalia, you're still talking quality, still talking Volkswagen mm. van. Uh, this is such a great option. Yeah. Really, really great option. Yeah. And the, the best thing of all that I've heard is that you can get these now. Can like you? Literally, literally now. How? I don't know how? how. I don't know. Well, I'm assuming they... That basically... Westphalia placed their order with Volkswagen about three years ago for base <laughs> funds, I imagine. Um, <laughs> but actually, you can get one of these now. This um, summer, hopefully. This summer. Yeah. And that, that, well, maybe for some people, that's going to be the choice. You know, do you, yeah. do you wait... Wait until summer of, time, of 24 or, or something. Or do you have for... one right now? And yeah. Well, we've made our choice and we're not having one because we're, we're waiting for <laughs> October. Our Sven, Sven heading until <laughs> October. Yeah. Um, but actually, that might be a deciding factor, knowing that, you know, we're, we're filming this in mid-May, um, knowing the fact that you might be able to get one of these yeah. now-ish, that's really appealing for it some. It is. Yeah. So hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, we love giving you a bit of a tour around different vans, just giving you a different perspective, giving you our perspective on things. Yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Yeah. And we certainly enjoyed having a look around it. Yeah. A bit more than a show, because in the show everyone's trying to get in them and you're trying oh, to... Oh, yeah, it's, just it's a hard nightmare. work, isn't it? Um, and, and we do need to say thank you to Wanda Home. We do. Thank you, Wanda Home. Yeah, thank do you so much, because they, they've brought it around, this yeah. brand new van. Brand new. Popped it on their little campsite for us to have yeah. a look at. And they, and they kind of just left us with it. Yeah. So uh, they're not it's kind very of... trusting. They're not just off shot making sure we don't break anything. They've literally <laughs> just left it with us yeah, to have a good old a really look around really good it. look at it. So thank you Wonder Home for that. Yeah. If you are interested in the van, do check Wonder Home out. They're great guys here and I'm sure they'd love to see you if you're looking at a Westphalia. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that's been helpful. Please like and subscribe. More Please videos do. all the time. Uh, yeah. And... With that, <laughs> that's it done, isn't it? That's it we'll done. See you, see again, you again soon, soon for some more camper van, camper van time. time.